I tested the spot welder from Banggood and I still have not rebuilt my Hitachi power pack. So I have a third and hopefully the last spot welder here. Now I don't know if this may have been reviewed on it on YouTube, this BI FRC. If it has been, I don't know it. It has a push button. That may be an LED. It comes with obviously a power connector that fell out and some welding leads. There's no positive and negative here. And these are 10 AWG leads. So fairly hefty leads. They're already shrink insulated. They did a very nice job. Now it's obvious where the power plug goes. Okay, and it uses up these two holes here and here. And it uses these two rectangular holes for uh, just holding it in place. Then we have a VCC and an out. Eight MOSFETs. Looks like number two standoff holes, that is, for a number two standoff. And no holes to accept the filter capacitor. So we have two outs, but they're obviously common. And we have a VCC. So looking at this, it does not look as if there's an isolation diode to isolate the uh, control circuitry from the positive input of the battery. Take my ohmmeter and it has, I believe, 7805. And the positive input from the battery goes directly without a diode to this. The negative side of the input goes to the ground connection or the common connection. And this should be 5 volts. I'm going to solder in the uh, power connection. I've soldered the uh, battery connector on. Now I have a couple of adapters here. A male and a female. But they're marked XT60. So maybe that's an XT60 interface. And these are male and female to whatever my battery accepts. So I'll, I'll plug this one in. This little jumper or adapter is only 14 AWG. I have this 7.4 volt battery and the leads on it are actually 12. I haven't put the, the uh, welding tips on for yet. And this package did not come with the obligatory uh, nickel. So I powered it up and... Ah, okay, we've got a green, a blue, a white, a yellow. I guess that's a... I don't know what that is. 
green back to red. So no need to hold the button down like I did on the Banggood welder. I've set the bench meter back to volts and it looks like we have 8.2 volts there. Remember that's a 7.4 volt battery. And we should have the same thing here. And we do. And over here I have 5.02. So that is a 5 volt regulator. There's no diode isolation between the positive side of the battery and the input to the three terminal device. But they felt the need to give me a filter capacitor. The need for this filter capacitor on these little welders is it has been explained a bunch of times on YouTube. This capacitor is only used to hold up the control voltage, which in this case is a 5 volts, to the MOSFET control devices. So I don't see a, 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 a way to connect the capacitor between here, the negative side, and here, the positive control voltage output from the regulator. I also don't see a good place to put this filter capacitor. We've got an LED there, an LED there. We've got a bunch of MOSFETs. I really want to connect the capacitor between here and there. I've attached the leads. I elected just to display the leads out over the exposed uh, copper. Same way down here. These holes are too small to accept number 10. I should slide this shrink wrap back a little bit. See how I just... Same thing up here. I'll shrimp wrap this like I did on the other ones. I think that should give me lots of welding lead after I get outside the shrimp wrap. I'm going to make a little uh, bottom for this so that I don't have to worry about that. And because I'm going to put that capacitor in here somewhere, I decided to go ahead and put the heat sinks on in the event heat sinks were necessary. Here's the spot welder with a base on it. Heat sinks. I think I'm going to put this filter capacitor right in here. I've uh, connected the negative side of the capacitor to the incoming black wire down underneath the capacitor. And then I ran the positive lead over to the supply side of the three terminal regulator. I'm going to be using this 11.1 .1 volt. I just took it off the charger. There's our can. And we are blue. Well, I don't know what the spark was when I touched it the first time. It certainly welded.
and that's on blue. So this spot welder I purchased on eBay for $28. And I got the board a filter capacitor that's not shown here. A battery coupler like this, which is an XT60, perhaps. There it is. Positive is the identified end. No, negative is the identified end. I would imagine this is available from other sellers, but here's the seller I elected to use. So I'll be using this on on my. Uh, power pack repair. Well, I was making spot welds with this thing and this adapter melted. The wires are extremely hot and these heat sinks I can't touch. So I'm going to shit can this thing. These battery wires are almost too hot to touch. There's the uh, connector with the solder melted off of it. Wow, well, look at that discolored it, melted it. I do think I'll use the uh, Alice welder. There's the fourth setting. There might be five settings. This, I think, is the highest setting.